my marvelous muses. How are we doing? So tonight I got like a little mini haul. I'm gonna show you some stuff. Um, back a couple months back, uh, resin me up, Mary. She hit her thousand subscribers, and when she did, she had a giveaway, and I won. And I won while I was in the hospital. Well, Mary sent me my prize today. Came in this gorgeous box, which I absolutely love, and I'm going to reuse. I love this. And in the box, I have all kinds of, of amazing little goodies here. I have a little blue bear with a little cross. Isn't he beautiful? He is absolutely gorgeous. Look at his little chain around him. It's funny because I did the blue bear. <laughs> and I did the different one. But yeah, I was like... Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Also, I took it off the dill already. Uh, but she sent me this amazing keychain, guys. Look at this. Got a shaker here. See this stuff in it? I love this. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? With the sunflower on it. And the tassel and the little butterfly and look at this guys look at this is this not just absolutely gorgeous gorgeous that is beautiful thank you so much my first stone colors she also sent me some glitter i hate to open these these are so pretty Glasses on so I can see. Bling me up. <laughs> Look at those colors, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Way to my heart. Sparkly. This one's blue sparkly. Even more way to my heart <laughs> sparkly and then blue sparkly or black sparkly i love black sparkly those ones those keychains that i did the other day that black sparkle oh my gosh look at this one ocean waves oh yeah beautiful beautiful More glitter here. See when crafters send crafters packages, you know they're fixing to be amazing. Because you know what people like, you know. I've had so many crafters send me stuff that you know, and it's like, of course they know what I'm going to like because they like it, you know. So fun. Versus you get somebody, you know, that's not a crafter that gives you a gift. Sometimes you're like, okay. Night on the town. Oh, isn't that pretty? Now, see, that would be pretty. And some black. Ah. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's her channel, guys. Be sure to check her out. Resin me up. It's Mary. She's amazing. She is amazing. And here. And look at these. Oh, aren't these gorgeous? Look at these butterflies. My word. Do you see those guys? Those are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I kind of want to do a butterfly top tumbler and put these as on the topper. Put these on the lid. Or at least one of them. One or two of them. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Mary. 
This is amazing. And like I said, I love this, and I love this stuff, because I'm going to use this. <laughs> I, you know I'm fixing to try to use this in some resin. Have you tried it in resin yet, Mary? If so, let me know. Yeah, definitely. Maybe even some of the holographic packaging. You know, I'm a crafter, you know, saving all this stuff. Saving all this stuff. All right. Now, I'm going to show you something else that I got. Being in Florida, we have a lot of flowers. And I've been buying these little dried pressed flowers, and I've been thinking to myself, I really want to do it myself, but I don't want to buy the silica and all that, and I don't want to wait and put it in a book. And I remember seeing Sherry Moulton, probably about a year ago, Sherry had bought one of these. And it is to actually, it's a microwave flower press. And I don't know if you remember me telling you or not, or if I, I think I mentioned it a week or so ago, about two weeks ago, I guess it was. A neighbor across the street, we don't have a whole lot of parking, and he had asked for a family member to park in front of my house for about 20 minutes, and I let him. Well, the next day they brought me over a bouquet of flowers, beautiful bouquet from the grocery store. And I was like, okay, well, the flowers are starting to kind of die off, and I'm like, well, I don't want them to die. They're beautiful, and I'm thinking, what can I do with them? So I got this flower press, and how this works is, when you first get it, you dampen this a little bit. You dampen it. It's a big foam pad and a plastic ring, and then you take your flowers, and you lay this down, and you put your flower in here, and you put this on top of it. And you put another flower in here if you want, or a couple more little ones, however many. And you can layer this. If it's a damp, really wet flower, like a thicker one, you could even put two pieces under it and two over it. Then you put the other piece of felt on top. You put this piece on here. You put the strap on it, and you stick it in the microwave. And you start out at 30 second blasts. Depending on what you're doing, it could take a little bit. Uh, the one I did, I did it in 30 seconds. Flipped it over, did it another 30 seconds. Let it sit for a little while. Waited till it cooled off. Did another 30 seconds. Checked it. Did another 30 seconds. And then another 10. And I took some of the flyers. This is just a few of them. But I took some of my flowers, some of my little flowers that I got given to me, and I put them in the microwave flower press. So they are, they're dry. This one here was a big um, carnation. And when I smushed it, this is what it ended up looking like. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And there's so many flowers down here. Little ones that grow wild like out in the yards and stuff. That I can't wait to dry some of them. We have these little yellow ones all over the yard. That when we mow they just go away. And then they come back. And they're just little bitty yellow flowers. And they are so pretty. And I'm thinking God what a waste. We're mowing them over. But they. It's like they're everywhere. So. I'm going to gather a bunch of them up and put them in this thing and put them in the microwave. So if this is something you'd like to see me do and do a tutorial on it, I will link it in the description box. I got it off of Amazon. I will put that link below. Um, but it, it it worked really well. Considering these were some thicker flowers, I think with some little bitty small ones, it would work really, really fast. Like I said, this did take a few minutes because these were bigger flowers. They were on the verge of dying, so that did help it a little bit. But all in all, it only took probably, I'm going to say maybe four minutes altogether, total, three or four minutes altogether to completely dry these. So, I thought this is going to be some a way to make my own flowers, press my own flowers. I could even buy flowers, specific ones, if I wanted to, and just press them. Keep them until they start, you know, until they've sat here a couple days, and then press them. Now, I did buy a mold. Surprise, surprise. I got my resin. I ordered my resin. I got it in. 
uh, yesterday, but I also wanted this mold. And I got it on Amazon. And it is a tray mold. It does not have a lip edge on it. It's just a flat tray. But it is a flat rectangle tray. And it is... measure it and see how long it is here all right it is on the inside of the tray eleven and three quarters I just shy of eight, just a hair, hair less than eight. So nice size. I thought it's a good tray. It's a flat tray. I've got some handles that I'm gonna pour, and then we can we're gonna do something in this really pretty. Uh, like I said, I did get this off Amazon. I do have a Simu order coming, and I have an order coming from AliExpress. So all right, guys. Uh, I'm going to put you on a pause for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, a couple things. I wanted some suggestions, guys. So, on my door, I have... What am I going to say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have about close to 40 of those clear acrylic things that hold alcohol, inks, well, it's supposed to be for picking up polish, but it holds alcohol inks, it holds small bottles of glitter, it holds my mica powders. But I want to color coordinate them. And my question to you guys is, do I color coordinate them by brand? Like, do I do all Let's Resin and then color coordinate the Let's Resin alcohol ink? And then do I color coordinate, or do I put... All my yellow alcohol inks together all my blues all my greens do I do it that way I feel like that way is gonna be easier as far as picking the color being able to see all the colors together and picking the color that I want because I feel like if I'm looking and I got up here at the top row I've got let's resin yellow and down here at the bottom I've got a different color yellow because they're not together maybe I don't see a difference in them so maybe I wouldn't choose one over the other I don't know my thoughts on that um, I did get some bigger totes today that I'm going to work on putting stuff away over in my other area they're probably I'm gonna say about four times the size of the little plastic ones that I had they're not huge totes but they're big they're nice decent size clear plastic totes that I can put I've got like yarn I'm gonna put all my yarn in one I want to put I have uh, my Halloween stuff that's in a cardboard box over there. I want to take it out of the cardboard box, put it where I can see what it is. That way I know when I it gets close to Halloween, I pull it all out and I'm ready to use it. Uh, same thing with my Christmas. I've got it all in a box. I want to be able to put... Well, some of my Christmas is actually in a tote. But I want to organize stuff. I want to get organized here. Um, somebody had asked me about me doing channel memberships. Uh, in fact, I had a couple people that had inquired about that, wanted to know, you know, did I do channel memberships and why I don't. Um, I never did channel memberships because, number one, I was like, well, with channel memberships, you're supposed to do something special for that person that is paying the extra money for the membership, which means they would get videos released early or sneak peeks of certain things or they something. There'd be... They'd get perks, basically. And because I already film and record for seven days a week, it's a lot to try to figure out what I'm going to do for the members, number one. Number two, YouTube takes a cut of the money. Any of the money that they pull in for you, YouTube gets a percentage of it. You know that. And uh, 
And don't get me wrong, I don't mind YouTube getting a cut out of it. It's not that, but I feel like if you're paying $5 for a membership to help my channel, and I'm not getting the whole $5, you know, then kind of what's the point? Uh, I do have a link down in the description box to buy me a coffee. At, I have a PayPal. I have a link to buy me a coffee. I have an Amazon wish list. Uh, my address that you can send me stuff is below. I would rather you, instead of paying $5 and being tied to a subscription, number one, where you have to pay $5, you be basically, once you sign up for that, it's a reoccurring fee if I'm right. Every month, they charge you $5, kind of like if you sign up for other channels. Well, you know, I don't want people being tied to that, so in case something happened, maybe one month you had a bunch of bills that you really couldn't afford, and you couldn't afford to give the $5. I would rather somebody buy me a coffee, put $5 on my PayPal, buy me something off my wish list. You guys know what I like. You watch my channel. You know things I like. You know things I use. You know, send me a package of popsicle sticks, you know, whatever. Package of gloves. Things that you know I need, you know, and it's like, I would rather you do that than be tied to a membership. You know, it's like, it's just, I don't know. I I feel funny about those memberships for that reason. I don't like signing a membership with anything, really. Um, I know a lot of the programs that we use, uh, you have to do it. You either buy things like Creative Fabric, you either buy things individually, or you pay a yearly or monthly subscription fee. And I'm like, I don't like doing that because there might be a month where I don't use it at all. I don't go in there one time and use Creative Fabric or... There may be a month where I use it six or seven times or eight times or ten times. But then there may be two or three more months where I don't use it hardly at all, you know. And I hate paying a subscription for things like that. Same thing with uh, Design Space. Uh, I broke down because I wanted to be able to do some fun stuff the other day. And I broke down and I bought the $10 thing for Design Space. Well, now Design Space won't work on my phone. Uh, luckily, my new computer that I got, it works with it, but it won't work on my phone, it's something to do with, I don't know, when I go in to, if anybody else is having the same issue, I have an Android phone, when I go into design space and I go to add whatever to it, and I click the button, I've been on tech support with, with them even, and they can't figure it out, uh, say I click text, well normally it shows a box and it says the word text in it. In black letters and you back it out well when I click when I type in text nothing shows in that box but it shows it's 72 points tall we've zoomed out we made sure that it's I'm not like it's not like at the bottom in the other corner no it's everything it just doesn't show up and nothing shows up I went in and picked a graphic just a black and white graphic and it doesn't show up it shows up at the bottom like I could go in there and edit it and change the size of it but I can't see it anywhere on my screen at all they had me delete it reinstall it delete it reinstall it they put in a ticket on it and it still hasn't been fixed so you know it's frustrating when things like that happen and I'm paying a subscription you know you want to pay a subscription fee for something like this and it's like they're supposed to give me a credit so I don't know we'll see but, yeah, I'm, that's my thoughts on the membership, you know. Let me know what you guys think about that. Like I said, I just, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like for what you pay for, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I feel like I hate to make people, I don't want people to waste your money. I don't want you to, I don't want to waste my money, and I don't want other people to waste their money. And I feel like I would rather... Buy somebody a coffee, send them a package of glitter, send them a couple little jars of glitter, you know, something like that. So, but I don't know, that's just me on my soapbox, that's me preaching. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Hope your resin cure is beautiful, your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you are all happy, healthy, safe, and blessed, and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.